The scammers make the victim's bank account on screen appear as if they've been refunded more than they should have been. Hi everyone, welcome to Planet Juju. Let's have a look at the latest scams I've received. George Mitchell 6514018 tagged me on Instagram telling me I could claim a £500 gift card from Shein. Yeah, Shein. Shein. In celebration of their 15 year anniversary, I had no idea they'd been around that long, did you? But yes, the company was formed in 2008. I looked at George Mitchell's profile and they didn't have any followers and they weren't following anyone, but had made 11 posts, 10 of them tagging other profiles about these gift cards. They urge you to follow their story. You know, that post that disappears after 24 hours. And in that, there's a button tap to claim your gift card who knows where that takes you of course i didn't tap it but i can assume they'd want you to send all your personal information i'd hope by now your scam and sense is well enough developed to call this one out straight away as a too good to be true scam Sheehan isn't going to be sending hundreds of random people 500 pound gift cards they're just not that generous <laughs> Next, I want to share a couple of emails. The first one I had was this fake annual subscription confirmation from Geek Squad saying I'd paid $349.99. It's targeted at people in the US. Of course, no such amount has come out of my bank account and we don't have Geek Squad here in the UK, but unsuspecting people may be perturbed enough by this charge to immediately call the number they provide in the email rather than looking up the real Geek Squad number and they'd find themselves being put through to a scammer call centre, usually based in India. The scammers like to pretend that someone else has stolen the victim's identity and then they get the victim to give them access to their computer so that they can pretend to refund them using the command prompt window. They quickly add a couple of zeros to the refund amount and blame the victim for putting the wrong amount in. If the victim checks their bank account while the scammers still have access, the scammers make the victim's bank account on screen appear as if they've been refunded more than they should have been and ask the victim to pay back the amount they've overpaid, usually by going to a store to buy gift cards or paying into a Bitcoin machine. Please don't be fooled by this one and never allow anyone you don't know to remotely access your computer or phone. The email came from alumno Jocelyn Marlon Silva Sotelo from a Peruvian source, Universidad Tecnológica del Peru, UTP, in a private university owned by a Peruvian billionaire. From experience, I know that university students receive their own email accounts and this person is still there in 2024, according to her LinkedIn profile. She may well have had her account hacked, but I did check the domain and Scam Advisor suggested that the website isn't trustworthy. I wonder if this is because the university had a data breach and several accounts were hacked and are being used for scams. My safe browsing software said it was safe to look at, so I did, and the first thing that struck me was their banner picture. It looks almost believable on a PC browser, but in the mobile version, more of the picture shows, and if you look at the bottom, these hands are rather odd. Yep, it's an AI-generated image. A university that uses an AI image as its main picture to represent its students is not giving me great vibes. How about you? This next email is an interesting one that I haven't seen before. It's a legitimate bounce back email from Google Mail. Address not found. Your message wasn't delivered to Louis Vuitton bags. Great discounts. Please visit us via website www.mrkbb.com set 2312 at hillspet.com because the address couldn't be found or is unable to receive email. And there's an attachment titled congratulations, which I didn't click on but I didn't send that email in the first place. The scammer sent an email to a non-existent email address and used my email address as the reply to address in their email account settings. So their email bounced back to me from a legitimate source. I looked at the raw data for the email and found the sender's IP address. 
It has been reported for abuse multiple times and is based in China. The raw data shows me the attachment says congratulations you have been chosen to get your Louis Vuitton limited time offer everything to 80% off just for you. New arrivals, Louis Vuitton bags, pochette, on the go and more for men, women. Shop now www.mrkbb.com. The domain mrkbb.com is based in Hunan, China. But if you didn't already know, Louis Vuitton only sells through its own stores, although some of those are also within high-end department stores like this one where I bought mine 20 years ago. This Louis Vuitton shop here is the only one listed in Hunan, so no, we won't be ordering anything from MrKBB.com. While we're talking about Louis Vuitton, if you'd be interested in hearing about the time I was scammed with a fake Louis Vuitton wallet, let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video on that, how I knew it was fake and how I got my money back. Moving on to phone calls, I was barraged on my mobile phone with three calls in two minutes from the same number, but I didn't hear any of them as my phone automatically blocked them. But I gather from the reports on who called me that it was an O2 scam. These are the most regular calls I receive on my mobile as it's clear from my number which network I'm with. On the landline I had a couple of missed calls one reported to be a boiler scheme scam and the other probably would have been a BT internet scam. Another call was from a mobile number and when I answered they failed to connect. Hello? 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 There weren't any reports on that number, but from the long pause, I knew it was from a computer and not a human being. I had one text message, a fake every delivery scam. We were unable to deliver parcel. Not your parcel or a parcel, just parcel. That already gives me an idea of where this is coming from. Then they give me a fake tracking number. Head to this fake phishing website to rebook a new slot. And that phishing website was set up the day before I received the text and registered in the Greater Dakar area in Bangladesh. Have a look at my separate video on delivery scams if you want to know more about them. A couple more fake profiles infiltrated a health group I'm in on Facebook promoting purveyors of snake oil. You know, those fake African doctors who say they can cure everything with unlabeled bottles of brown liquid. We have Dr. J. A. Herbs from Nigeria, who's changed their page name several times, and Dr. Eraho, also from Nigeria, who can apparently get rid of a specific male anatomy enlargement for you. In case you haven't seen my shocking video about these guys and their awful practices, please do watch it. And finally, well, a friend passed away recently and I went onto her Facebook page at the end of March to add a comment for her heavenly birthday and I noticed this. Another of her friends had tagged her in a post with a hacking link. Their profile had obviously been hacked, otherwise they'd have known she's no longer with us. But look at the wording, it's clickbait appealing to people's grisly voyeurism. To me, it was obviously a hacking link, but just to confirm, I did a search on the wording and found someone who'd warned about it. The fact that my late friend's account could be used for scams like this makes me very angry, and I hope her family are able to change the settings on her account so that it can't be exploited like this. Please make sure that someone trustworthy who's good with these things has access to your account so that it can be protected or even memorialised should anything happen to you. Well, on that bright note, that's all for now, but I already have a hilarious phone call for the next one, so if you don't want to miss it, please ensure you're subscribed with the notifications switched on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon with the next episode of Scamwatch 2024. Ooh, should have seen it coming. Ooh.